Hot Rods complete bottom end kits are a great item. Now we've added in our stroker crankshafts and you can replace your regular crankshaft with a stroker one if you're looking to gain some more cc's. So we have these available for a few two strokes and quite a few of the current four strokes. Again, gave you a little insight into those right now. Okay, so just like our complete bottom end kits with the standard cranks, these stroker cranks come with everything you need to do the bottom end of your bike. They'll come with a complete crankshaft with a made in the USA rod, main bearings, main seals, all the other important seals for your motor, all the gaskets for the motor top and bottom end. With a stroker crankshaft, the lower pin is relocated to add the cc's to the stroke of the crank. A shorter rod is used to allow for the stock piston to still be utilized without having to use any spacer plates or special gaskets or anything that you could see externally. So you pick up some extra cc's, it'll tend to add more mid to top end type power in most applications. We do make a few two stroke strokers as well. They tend to require head machining. In the case of a Banshee, you'll actually have to run a special gasket and have your heads cut in deeper or assembled by an experienced motor builder who could check that you have all the proper clearances from piston to head clearance. On some of our older strokers, the Raptor 350, TRX 400, Raptor 660, these can require special stroker pistons, which we do sell separately. And all the two-stroke strokers require head machining no matter what. You're going to have to recut your head much deeper. The Banshee stroker requires a special stroker pistons and gaskets and head machining. So our stroker bottom end kits are a great kit. For the two strokes, a lot more work is required to make sure they work, so you need to get with your engine builder, whoever's going to assist you to make sure you know what you're doing to get that thing completed correctly. With the current four strokes, all the current uh, 250s and 450 dirt bikes and so forth, they're pretty much drop-in kits. You can run whatever piston you want in combination with the kit.